He's making a list and checking it twice. He's going to find out who's naughty or nice. Because a Christmas German demon is coming to town. It seems Max's family has made it onto Krampus's shit list. Not only do they have to survive unbearable in-laws, but also demonic creatures in Krampus. Hello there, you Lucy and welcome back to another episode of Spicy Boy Reviews. I'm, of course, your host, Andrew Wiles. That's right, it's December, it's Christmas season, and we're going to start off with a Christmas movie, Krampus. Released in 2015, directed by Michael Doherty. Known for directing the classic Trick or Treat, and Godzilla, King of Monsters. We open the film on what Christmas is all about. Consumerism. We see a Thanksgiving-style Christmas sale just with less murder, as the opening credits roll. We are introduced to our protagonist, young Max, who still believes in the spirit of Christmas. However, the tradition is beginning to change as he gets older. Message! Still believing in Santa, he's not ready to grow up yet and wants things to stay the way they were. Max's family is a usual progressive talk through your feelings style movie family. And unfortunately, their overbearing in-laws are coming for the holidays, and wouldn't you guess what movie cliché family they are? If you answered right-wing, gun-loving, sport-cheering alcoholics, you'd be right. Just think a less funny Uncle Eddie and the gang. Of course, tension ensues and no one is getting along. Max is then embarrassed at the dinner table in front of his whole extended family by his cousins in drag, and he's having none of it! He snaps, flips his shit, blows his top off, and his Christmas wish then becomes for Christmas to go away and die, which can only go well. Then we have a Ghostbusters cloud rolling over the family home. The power goes out, no one has any service on their phones, and it seems that they are snowed in. It also seems like all the surrounding houses in the neighbourhood have become completely empty, like something in the night has come away and taken away the neighbourhood. Things start to get a little creepy, and then, before we know it, they are dialed up to 11. Ominous snowmen start surrounding the house. We get a human eating enormous jack-in-the-box. Tremor-like creatures under the snow outside. Murderous gingerbread men. Even Five Nights at Freddy's show up for some slasher fun in the attic. Then we are introduced to the mythological creature himself, Krampus. That's when German Grandma pipes up for a really ominous dark monologue here. Don't worry Phoebe, yours is still better. And she explains that they've all lost that Christmas feeling. And Krampus is a German old demonic demon from way back when who has come to take their souls. Which is the most German Christmas folklore slash cautionary tale I've ever heard. This film ain't shy about picking off the family members one by one either. Like, no one is safe here. They're throwing out the rule books on this one. In the end, they all have to work together to survive the night. A la in the vein of The Thing and Gremlins. The creature effects are pretty bloody good in this film too, and smartly so, hidden in shadows until the film wants to show you their awesomeness. Krampus looks bloody good too. I'm hoping NECA makes an action figure really soon if they haven't already. There is unfortunately no gore in this film, or that I noticed, but there's enough nightmare fuel in this movie to keep you engaged. The cast is all really excellent in this too, however they are playing characters that you've seen them play a million times before. Boom. 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 Le boom. It's also the perfect runtime too of 98 minutes. Thank Santa Christ! And there's also a little twisty twist at the end! As I'm sure you all know, there is a shitload of Krampus films out there, but I can't imagine any of them being as fun as this one. Yes, Krampus, not quite old enough to be a rewind episode, but not necessarily a new release either. However, very much worth the watch for the Christmas season. Guys, write down below if you've seen this version of Krampus. What are your thoughts on it? But more importantly, what is your favourite Christmas horror movie? And of course, if you've made it this far into the episode, please give me a thumbs up because your love and support keeps me going because I just love movies and I assume you do as well. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe icon because I give it an episode weekly. And I'll see you back here next week for the next review. And until then, stay spooky, kids.